Hello YouTube, this is Sam from Tigzy Schooling and uh, today we are just going to talk about few bones, their main structures and uh, uh, we, have, we are going to discuss about the sternum, the costal cartilage and the points where they are attached. Uh, we are going to talk about the typical vertebra. We have got two types of vertebra here, that is uh, the lumbar vertebra and the thoracic vertebra. And we are also going to talk about the typical ribs. Online. So let's start with uh, the uh, number one point that is the sternum. The sternum is actually uh, the, uh, the most anterior part of the thoracic region, the thoracic wall, and it's actually divided into three main parts. That is the uh, manubrium sterni, the body of the sternal, this part, you know, this one is the manubrium sterni, the body of the sternum, and we have got in the end, this point is the zephyte process. So the manubrium sterni, and the uh, manubrium sterni and the body of the sternum are connected together by uh, the manubrio sternal joint. And in similar way, the body of the sternum and the Z5 process are attached by Z5 sternal joint. And this is all about the, uh, the uh, uh, stern uh, sternum bone. And uh, uh, you, must, you must be sure about it that the first uh, thoracic rib Remember that we, uh, the uh, cervical ribs are not going to attach here. The first thoracic rib is going to attach on the manubrium, never on the body of the sternai. The first thoracic rib is going to be attached on the manubrium part of the manu uh, manubrium sternai, and the second thoracic uh, uh, work, uh, rib is going to attach here between the at, at the point of the sternal angle between the manubrium. This is the sternal angle. Um, I mean, the, 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 it's, 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 it's somehow tilted, but the, in this, uh, in this uh, model it's not tilted, but somehow making a sky kind of 163 angle, and that's why we call it a sternal angle. Here the second uh, thoracic uh, uh, rib is going to attach and in similar ways as first, second, third, fourth, fifth, and sixth. And on the seventh, uh, we have got the other attached to the seventh, uh, uh, this, all the costal cartilage are going to, uh, below seven are going to attach to the seven costal cartilage and are going to attach with the body of the sternum. So that's all about the uh, uh, sternum and the costal cartilage. And let's take a typical rib. We are just going to talk about a typical rib. We're just going to talk about a typical rib knot. Uh, and uh, before we just go further, we must know which rib is that. Uh, I mean, not which uh, rib in, in a sense of, uh, it, is it a cervical, thoracic, lumbar, uh, it, 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 probably it's a thoracic rib, but we must know that, uh, in, uh, is, is it on the either left side, right side, and uh, how we position it. So learn, we now will learn the position of, uh, positioning the rib, the typical rib. So this is the typical rib, how it looks like. And um, below here, this is called we have got, let's just get from here, we have got head, this is the head, this is the neck of the rib, and this is the tubercle. The tubercle has two parts, that is the one is the articulating part and the other is not non-articulating part, which is going to be attached to the transverse process, which we are going to see in just a bit. And down there, we have got the costal groove. This is the costal groove. And the costal groove always faces downward. This is the fascia, uh, which is very smooth and a uh, little bit rounded in the center and thin at the end, and the costal groove faces downward, so we are sure that this is, uh, the costal groove faces downward, and how would we know where the, uh, which rib is that? So always remember that, that the head of the rib is always going to attach at the, at the back, at the, uh, at, the, at the back, at the back, or at the back, and uh, uh, to the vertebra. It's not going to attach to the, uh, the head of the rib is not going to attach to the sternum, but it's going to attach to the uh, vertebra. So, so uh, according to that, this rib belongs to the right thoracic region. This is the right thoracic region. So this is all about uh, the uh, rib, and this part is going to be attached uh, to the uh, this is the to the anterior part, and this is going to attach to the costal cartilage in this manner. You can see that. There you go. And this is the, uh, this is going to attach backward. So, all right, this this is how it is. So that's it. And now let's talk about the typical vertebra. All right, uh, this is probably a thoracic vertebra, and uh, 
the main part of the thoracic vertebra let's discuss the position this is how the vertebra faces this is the end uh, the, the body of the vertebra this is the body of vertebra which faces anterior which means the anterior to the body in inside the body this is the posterior part of the vertebra so anterior part we have got the thoracic body posteriorly we have got the spinous process this is the spinous process and um, the area here is called lamina this is lamina and these are transverse process these are these flying ears uh, something like that these are called transverse process and this area which is called the pedicle from pedicle these uh, articulating surface arise uh, to which uh, other uh, vertebra are kind of attached and in, th in this manner like uh, we go with this this is how it's going to be probably this is a small vertebra we, are, we, we need a, a bigger vertebra which is probably going to fit fit here but I just want to show that that there we have got two other fascias in similar way here uh, here down there so which help in attachment uh, with another vertebra so this is all about the typical and this is the uh, foramina through which the vertebral uh, vertebra I mean vertebral column is going to pass and this is probably the lumbar as we go down from uh, the cervical to the lumbar and caucus as we go move downward the, uh, the body of the vertebra gets bigger and bigger so this is uh, the uh, body of the vertebra in similar way and this is the lumbar you can compare it and this is the thoracic and this might be up to, I mean uh, seven eight or nine thoracic and this probably is going to be one or second thoracic vertebra you know as we go downward it gets bigger and bigger you can see with the comparison so that's all for today please do comment and let us know what you want to learn. Thanks for watching.